What is up guys, Pixel Sammy here. First of all, thank you so much for 800 subscribers. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to export your Lightroom presets as LUTs, which you can use in your Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, After Effects, DaVinci, or all the other softwares which support Q format as LUTs. So you guys might already know, I have made a couple of Lightroom tutorials in my channel and I will give the link to the playlist down below, you can watch them all, it is pretty amazing and the effects are pretty cool. So I was wondering if I could export all of them as LUTs so that you can use in your videos also. And luckily I found a method to do so. But before that, this is the edit which I did for one of my videos, the link will be in the description down below. Okay, so first what we are going to do is export the preset of this particular effect and while exporting, make sure the lens correction, noise reduction, graduated filters, transform, effects, sharpening and clarity is turned off. The reason being, this is not the limitation of the software. This is the basic description of a LUT. Let me name it as export to LUTs and, and click on create. And then what we are going to do is go to your browser and search LUT generator and click on the first link. And this is the link of the LUT generator, then click on download LUT generator. And this will give you the link to the selfie link where you can buy it. Actually, it is free of cost. You need to just download it. I will leave the link down below as well. So this is the file. You can install the Mac version if you want to. Otherwise, you can install the Windows version if you have one. And after opening it, it will look like this. It has a question mark which describes how to make the LUTs. So first thing what we are going to do is generate a halt which actually creates an image in PNG format where it actually stores the data of the LUT and save it to your necessary location. I am saving it to downloads just for the sake of this tutorial. Then in downloads, this is the image which it will generate. So what you need to do is open Lightroom and then import this picture. After importing this picture, click on the develop panel and apply the LUT which you just made over it. Then export this particular picture. Save it to your necessary location. Keep the quality as 100. Keep the format as JPEG. And then click on export. Now after exporting, click on this again and convert to cube. And then find the picture which you just exported. Open it, it will automatically create the cube. And then in Final Cut Pro, go to the effects panel and click on MLUT. MLUT is a plugin by Motion VFX which actually allows you to load custom LUTs. And then click on load custom LUT and find the LUT which you just saved. And this is something you guys must know. That is, if you are editing a raw picture and then making a preset out of it and then it's making a LUT of that preset, you must know that as the picture was taken in raw, the colors in the original image will not be as good as a JPEG file. That is, it is a raw, it is uncompressed, the colors are not so vibrant. So we are enhancing the colors all the way to the maximum potential. But it is a high probability that you guys might not shoot in raw for your videos. So if it is so, then you guys should reduce the intensity of the LUT in this panel and this is the biggest advantage of MLUT because it can help you reduce the intensity of the LUTs as well and there are lots of other options such as highlights, midtones, shadows, contrast which you can adjust and play with it. So that is pretty much it guys. This was a short tutorial and I am sure this is going to help you all. Thank you so much for 800 subscribers again and if you guys are interested in cinematography, photography, videography and all those stuff, I make regular content each alternate days. So if you are interested, please consider subscribing to my channel and press the red button and the bell button. And with that being said, this is Pixel Sammy signing out. And again, thank you so much for 800 subscribers. Goodbye.